Coming from Jerusalem, that's Paul Wilbur, Raw from Zion Live, and that's from the Raw from Zion channel. Just coming up to quarter to nine. Open doors, charity for persecuted Christian. On the phone, warning the World Economic Forum, thieving bankers. Better not swear. Why pause soon to make sure I don't swear? Button those lips, mum. Begins pushing for in prison something. A time for judgment. Quite a good channel. I watch them quite a bit. I just wanted to share this. I shared it on my community page. Beautiful rose. My daughter got it for me. It's one of my Hanukkah Chanukah presents. It's made out of metal. No smell. No smell. Good if you've got allergies. Hay fever. And she got it for free, man. There's a thing online in London and in many cities around the world called Free Cycle. And when you have something you don't want, you just put an advert on and then the person comes and collects it. She got me lots of presents. She always does, man. Oh, no. Yemen. World Watch News. Christians shaken by arrest and torture. We don't realise how lucky we have it here, you know. The Christians on YouTube are mostly in the UK and the USA. They think it's persecution if someone like me chastens them with words, with kindness, telling them to repent, that they're going to miss the rapture because they're not keeping the laws, statutes and commandments. I know a lot of persecuted Christians don't, but they're not living in countries where they have free Bibles, churches on every, every town. Do you know what I mean? Videos that they can just watch teachings of. I'm not the only te teacher teaching Torah. By a long shot, Christians in Yemen are experiencing a sharp rise in arrests and torture, resulting in a trauma traumatising impact on affected believers and their families. The spike has come in recent months. These are not linked to one specific church network, but several different ones. We thank God that we're all safe, you know. Reason, you know, people, we, Christians, tribulation is coming to these parts of the world, most of you aren't going to make the rapture. I'm not, I am judging, because tribe of Dan, the pale-faced tribe of Yisrael, we're Hebrews. We, we are meant to be one of the judges. Obviously, Ahaya Shahaya, the great I am, I am. The name creator told Moses at the burning bush. He's the judge, but when I was deceived by evil Islam, um, Prophet Muhammad, I still believed in Yeshaya, Jesus, I used to like to call him in the Quran, and I read the Quran quite a bit, while still believing that I, that I said died on the cross, although the Quran said he didn't, but let's not get sidetracked. And if you support the persecuted Christians now, you can support Open Doors UK and Ireland. There's an Open Doors in the USA, but they've changed their name now. There's been a kind of split, uh, the best way I can describe it. They've still got the same principles, the same ideologies, the same heart, the be for the persecuted church, but they've split with funds and the American one's got a new name. I watched them on my Facebook. They're really kind. They've answered some of my comments. They have a little live prayer thing where you can catch up with it every morning. We are specifically concerned because torture is used to force the Christians. Please help them, Ahaya, to give information about the activities of believers. Or names of other believers, says an open spokesman. Ahaya, please help our brethren in Yemen and around, around the world to stand strong. If they do end up having to betray their brethren, or even if they deny your name, we pray that you will forgive them, like you forgive Peter, who denied your beloved son, Yeshua Hamashiach, the Black Christ, three times. Some of the arrested Christians have been released, but they are struggling with the aftermath of the torture they suffer. Oh, Ahaya, we pray against the demons of trauma. We pray against PTSD, that's post-traumatic stress disorder, nightmares and flashbacks. We pray according to Psalm 91 and according to the beautiful gospel song by singer Eddie James called Wrap Me In My Arms that you do this. Take them to that place, that Bailey Watch in Ethiopia, to that secret Bailey Watch out and I, Lord, where they can be with you and you can make them like you. Wrap them in your arms. Amen. We see that their torture, that their arrest and the torture had and still has a deep impact on their families too. 
the spokesman adds, spokesperson adds, they are shocked and are struggling with their faith in Muna, and they, as they are counting that higher, as they were counting that higher God would spare them, that higher would intervene. Their faith is shaken. Oh, how terrible! How awful! And you people, you don't even care. How long has it been? Some of you watching now, we're all guilty. I forgot a couple of days this month to pay for Leah Sherabu. She's in Nigeria. She's the bravest woman I've ever heard of. She was kidnapped when she was 14 or 15 from a girls' school in Nigeria, a boarding school, you know, where you live at the school. All the other girls got set free because they denied Yeshua was the son of God. There's like a little oath you say when you do Islam. Um, Allah is the only God and Muhammad is his last prophet and she wouldn't do it and she's been in jail by Boko Haram, Boko Haram terrorist Muslim gang for um, over five years now. I pray for her release every day. Many of us around the world do and she has beautiful parents. Um, Nathan and Rebecca, I think it's Rebecca, her mum's name is Sherabi. So you can imagine how their hearts are breaking, you know. God bless them. And one day in heaven they will watch this video and they'll know that we did care, you know. The persecution of Christians in Yemen has been extreme for many years. Believers are mostly converts from Islam. But because conversion from Islam to Christianity is forgiven in Yemen, they must keep their faith hidden. With pressure coming from both the government and local communities, by the way, I've got a really good friend now on Facebook. He's from Pakistan. He's a Sunday school teacher. His father is a pastor, if I can recall correctly. I've been praying praying for and with, but talking to a few people, Christians, on my Facebook. And he asked me, do I want to do a live internet broadcast in Pakistan? Can you imagine? It's like it says in the Bible, the prophet is never accepted in their hometown at CBN Christian Broadcasting Network prayer site. I've been given a seven-day ban with some other troublemakers. I've been called a liar, a witch, a crazy person. I was crazy before, but I'm healed now. Everything I say is biblical. Check this out, folks. I've been called an antichrist teacher. <laughs> I'm not laughing because obviously I'm sad, but it says in the Bible that we uh, rejoice with those who rejoice and we weep with those who are mourning. And because, and some of my old YouTube channel was called Cursed 8, the number blessed, and bipolar that I was once diagnosed with by witchcraft psychiatry, if I may call it that, bipolar has turned into a blessing because now I can switch, you know, but not in a bad way. I feel it. One minute I'm rejoicing with those that joy and the next minute I'm mourning with my brethren in Yemen. I'm not fake at all. I'm very, very real. Pray that they will see a higher God as a loving and caring Elohim creator, continues the spokesperson. Pray for the Christian community in Yemen, that the Christians won't be paralysed by fear and stop visiting and encouraging each other out of fear that, for example, their mobile phones would be traced. That's something very simple, a tiny little prayer that we can all do. Take you, what, 30 seconds a minute? God bless you. I'm just waiting for my lovely family to ring me back. They're just finishing their dinner.